Here I am, David Hill here uh, with Robert Perdoza, head football coach at Orange High School. We've gone back and forth quite a bit this season, haven't we, Coach? And now we've got a new guest, Alicia Seavers. Uh, and, and for our audience, I think it's great to have the athletic director here with us. We do a series called Inside the Game. So we go a little bit further than the X's and O's and try to let people know what really goes on to get to this point. We know kids got to play and coaches have to coach, but there's a whole lot more that goes on. So I'm going to start with you, Alicia, and talk to us and talk to our audience about what an athletic director has to do to get ready for a championship level game. Well, I think it's it's been a, a season long process. Um, Robert and I thankfully have a great relationship and so he can coach and I can handle all the other stuff for him that he doesn't need to take care of. But once you get into CIF, we've got hosting duties if you're hosting. We've got tickets to sell. We've got, you know, stadiums to deal with. We have visiting teams to deal with. And so there's a lot of communication that goes back and forth, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, let me, let me ask you, I've been dying to ask you this. Is there any truth that you have the power to declare a national holiday if Orange wins this game? <laughs> right? You have that power as an athletic director? <laughs> no, no, I don't have that power. Is there going to be any school on Monday if you guys win? <laughs> you know, you <laughs> Not <for> me. <laughs> I was dying to ask that question, but all seriousness, uh, you talked about these these intangibles, the, 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 the things that have to come together. The one thing I want to really kind of get to is the relationship building because that has to happen as well too. Talk about the relationship not only that you have with Coach Pedroza but the other staff as well too. I think a lot of people think being an AD you just sit back and it's easy and that's the next step from being a coach and it's actually I think more work. I think it's it's building relationships, it's finding people that are good for kids, good for a whole athletic program. And then it's a continual mentorship for me with them, for them with me. I learned, I've, I've never done football. This is my first year on the boys side. And so Robert has been key in helping me and teaching me what I need to know. And so it's been a good give and take. There's a mutual respect. I mean, he's a great guy. I couldn't ask for a better better football coach, a better guy to lead a program, to take care of our kids, to rebuild a culture on our campus. So been very lucky. And I think it, it's evident, obviously, when you get uh, a program such as this, it just goes on and on. And obviously, you're coaching your tail off, coach, uh, and players are playing. But it is a, an entire community that deals with it. Speaking of community, you guys have a big pep rally tonight, I understand, right? How? Tell me about what the buzz is around this community. It's been since, and we talked a little bit before we came on air, 1929 you won your last championship but you were in the finals 2005 yes. so we've got a you know we got a big gap here I gotta believe that people have to be excited about this it, you get any sense Robert you get any sense about the community and how it is responding to this big deal yeah it, it's amazing right now uh, we got alumni posting stuff of what their ja they're bringing their jackets back out tonight okay. We have the 89 and uh, 2005 finals team that are getting their whole, trying to get their whole teams together to be there with jackets on and represent for the boys. And, and the buzz is amazing. And, and that, that's what it's all about. It's about the community. It's about, it's about the school. It's about the students. It's about the staff. And, uh, and, this, and when you see it all come together, it's just, you, it makes you realize why you do this. And, and, and seeing the boys' faces and the excitement that they're getting, and it's well-deserved. I mean, they've worked hard and, and, it's, and it's about the boys. And, uh, and when you step back and look at what they've actually accomplished, which I haven't been able to yet because mm -hmm. they still got a lot of business to take care of, um, I'm going to be very proud of, of, of what these boys have done. No question at all. And uh, uh, lastly, as, as I think about this, um, I've sat in this chair over here that no one sees right now. Um, I've sat in that chair and I've sat in your chair. I know one thing that as things get rolling, football comes out of the gate with this kind of momentum. Does it have any effect on the, on the rest of the teams as they prepare to compete as well? Do they look at football and say, man, we, we, we ought to do the same. Do you get that sense at all that the other teams want to be where the football team is? I hope so. I think football is a big motivator of culture school-wide, not just in athletics. And so I think athletic success builds on teams build on teams and I think they're going to see what what football has done and want to have a piece of that and want to get to that that spot and on the campus I think you just create a culture of kids wanting to be involved even if it's as a as a rooter to go to the game and root for the team I think it the culture change could be could be huge 
Uh, no question about it, and, and I've spent now enough time on this camp, I almost feel like I should be on staff. Uh, enough time on, I got a shirt, yeah, there you go. <laughs> in case you need it. But I mean, I get the sense that that is the case too, and it's such a great thing for these kids in general, whatever your role is, uh, however you come into this thing, either as a player, uh, participant, whatever it might be, or just as a, a person that's going to root the team on, seems to build a lot of culture and a lot of spirit. And I'm sure that's the case as well, too. Coach Pedroza, one question for you. Um, um, you get a sense of this football team. Is this is is their mood changing? What's the attitude of this football team as you get ready for the championship game? You had a lot of build up towards it. Has anything changed? You notice any kind of mood change, any kind of, any kind of idea behind it, a, a sense of nervousness, anything that you'd notice different about this football team no these kids never get nervous it bothers me a lot but uh these kids i mean we've had the best week of practice all year and uh and it was a struggle for us to think like okay week 14 how's the practice going to be these kids are so excited i mean like i've told you before when we started the season it was one goal it wasn't a league championship it wasn't you know get into the playoffs it was win the whole thing and and these boys are finally at the at the point to where they have that ability and they have it in their hands to take care of it and and this group is excited they're running around we had yesterday we had a barber in here and they all got haircuts uh um, how, how did i miss that I know, I was, <laughs> you I was, didn't I call you can are you ki- you know how much i spend on razors <laughs> coach are you, you kidding me care of, so. <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> so so you know the mood is is just unbelievable and and you know enjoying the kids at the night practices the last couple week uh, last couple days is uh it's just been awesome and um we're excited man i can't i can't wait till tomorrow well, it's going to be exciting, and, and you've got it at home. Yes. Uh, uh, and I know that's got to be a big help. It's been a f- t- fantastic season for Orange High School and also for Silver Valley, both teams coming in here. And uh, it should be a great atmosphere. We're looking forward to it. We're happy to be a part of it. Uh, we'll bring out as much information. We'll, we'll get as much information out there as we can. Looking forward to seeing both of you Saturday night right here at El Medina and Fred Kelly Stadium. Congratulations. Good luck to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.